Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Rune Words. Uh, today I have with me my uh, my wonderful little little Mr. Nene. What's up Mr. Nene? Who uh, he's going to join us on today's adventure. Today we're going to be looking at the rune word fortitude. Um, fortitude is a very interesting rune word because um, it is both useful on a character and is also very useful on a mercenary. Um, one of the very interesting things about Fortitude is the 20% chance to cast 15, level 15 chilling armor when struck, and also the 300% uh, enhanced damage. But we'll be going over that in just a minute. Uh, first, we're going to go over to the website, and we're going to take a look and see if the rune word has any variations, and, uh, and if it does, what, what those variations are. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, go. So here we have the uh, rune word fortitude, and fortitude is uh, L, soul, dole, not so bad so far, and then low, which low runes are actually fairly hard to come by. Uh, the problem with low runes is that not only are they extremely rare, uh, they are quite honestly just, just quite useful in several other recipes. And so a lot of people will end up having the perfect base for a fortitude sitting around with uh, with El Sol and Dole sitting in it, just simply waiting for that low rune uh, whenever they can get their hands on it. And unfortunately, um, it, it tends to be something that is hard to come by. Now, when it comes to fortitude, though, people love to make it for uh, the, for the effects. And, uh, and if we go down and we look at the effects, uh, you will see that we have a 20% chance to cast level 15 Chilling Armor when struck. And we have to go over to Chilling Armor and take a look at it and, uh, and see what level 15 Chilling Armor does. So, uh, so here we have level 15 Chilling Armor, uh, which is... 115% bonus defense with a damage of 28 to 38 with a duration of 248 seconds. So if we take a, uh, a calculator and we divide that, we will figure out uh, what the duration is. So 248 divided by 60. So we're looking at 4.13 minutes, so roughly about 4 minutes. And... Uh, <laughs> The uh, he loves to hide behind my head. I don't know what it is. He know. I think he knows where the camera is. Like I swear. So we're gonna get a hundred and fifteen percent damage bonus for approximately four minutes and uh, like twenty seconds, which is which isn't bad at all. Um, and of course, that is going to proc multiple times, which is which is very nice. Um, you can also theoretically take this armor off, put it on. Um, you know, for instance, your character. If you had it on your mercenary, get the proc, and then put it back on your mercenary, and then him get the proc, and you can swap it back and forth for the extra defense. It actually works out very nicely. Um, it's actually a pretty healthy chunk of, de of defense as well, so let's keep that in mind. Uh, we also have 25% faster cast rate, which is just really odd for this armor. Um, I've always felt that the 25% faster cast rate just really didn't fit this armor, because it really seems like a melee plate. Um... I mean, especially with the 300% enhanced damage, which helps out both the, uh, you know, bow mercenaries, the uh, ranged characters, the melee characters, the melee mercenaries, all that. But it doesn't help out caster types. So why the 25% faster cast on there? I'm not really sure about that. Um, I mean, it could become useful for certain situations, I suppose, uh, if you were a yeah, sort of a melee slash caster. But there's not a lot of uh, melee classes that also have spells. Uh, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. I mean, maybe if you were a uh, like a bear sorceress or something, it could come in handy. 300% enhanced damage is absolutely amazing. And uh, and while it is a huge bonus to your damage, um, keep in mind, however, that um, this 300% bonus to damage doesn't affect certain skills. Um, so you may want to do a little bit of research on your particular skill to see if it affects yours. Um, for instance, for me, um, on my Vengeance Paladin, when I'm using Vengeance, I get absolutely no benefit from the 300%. Um, only to my physical. So if I go to my regular attack, which is my physical damage, the fortitude will beef up the physical component of the damage, but not the actual vengeance skill. But if I were using zeal, zeal would definitely be a good choice for the 300% enhanced. So it really just depends. Now, when it comes to the rest of the armor, we also have a 200% uh, enhanced defense, which is very nice. Um, it makes the armor have quite a large amount of defense, even when it's in a non-ethereal plate. 
you're thinking about uh, like 1600 maybe 1700 defense depending on the kind of plate that you put it in whether it's perfect or not whether it has plus you know a superior whether it's 15 percent superior things like that so um we also have a flat 15 defense so when you think about this from from a defense perspective you think about the fact that it's it's going to be a massive amount of defense you also have chilling armor when struck, which is absolutely amazing because chilling armor is going to give you even more defense. So this defense is going to stack up on itself and you're just going to have an amazing time. Um, it also has plus life based on character level, which is 148 at level 99. It has um, seven replenished life, which while replenished life isn't amazing, it's always nice to have some replenished life. It's good for your life to be constantly regenerating up. Um, even if it's not a lot, I mean, it's just an effect on an armor or a weapon or anything that it's nice to have on there. It's like icing on the cake. It's not exactly the greatest. Um, but, you know, you, you're not going to turn it down if it's extra. 5% to maximum lightning zit resist, which is always nice to have. Um, increasing your maximum resistances is always going to be a good thing. Uh, we also have uh, all resistances 25 to 30, so it does have a 5 variance on the resistance, which isn't too big of a deal, uh, but uh, you know you would obviously want to grab that 30. Uh, damage reduced by 7, which believe it or not is actually very useful. Um, it reduces all incoming physical damage by 7, no matter what it is. So if it's 7, it goes to 0. If it's 100, it goes to 93, etc. 12% um, damage take goes to mana, which is useless on the mercenary, but is actually really nice on you as a character. So if you were using this and you got hit, say for 100 physical damage, um, you would gain 12 to your mana pool. Now it does not affect elemental damage and stuff like that, it's only physical, and it does not reduce the damage that the monster does, it just simply gives you 12 mana if you get hit for 100. You still get hit for 100. Uh, but then we also have plus 1 to light radius, which, uh, you know, you know, we seem to throw those light radiuses in there. Probably comes from one of the runes, I can't remember which one, maybe like the L rune or something like that. Um, and the damage reduced by, I'm pretty sure, comes from the soul rune. So now we're going to go over to the uh, the game, and we're going to take a look at the armor itself. So here we have a fortitude plate, uh, which has rolled 30, all resistances. And um, as you can see, I'm level 99, so I have 148 to life. So now I'd like to take you over to the um, to anywhere, so I can get the uh, the proc. And the interesting thing about the proc is it doesn't necessarily have to be physical damage to uh, to cause it. You can use fire damage or elemental damage of any type. So even at a, lo at a level 1 character in normal difficulty, um, if you find yourself uh, any type of fire, you can walk in fire. Uh, this particular character, for instance, if, uh, if I, he had hit me with the fire, because I, I dodged it like a, like a pro. Come here, buddy. Hit me with this fire. And uh, let's see if we can get this to proc really quickly. Or uh, my uh, mercenary murders him. I kind of wish there was an unsummon button for the mercenary. Mercenary, why are you so brutal? You don't even have any equipment on. I, mean, I know this is Act 1, but still, jeez. Of course, they can't actually hit me because of, uh, unfortunately, the... Um, the defense is very, very high on this particular armor. So especially in normal difficulty, um, if you're talking about how to get this to proc, you're going to have to get it to proc somewhere that is not, of course, physical damage. Because they're, they're going to have a lot of hard time actually hitting you. And uh, and this is uh, not... It's not really difficult to get to proc, though. And uh, at a 20% chance, you're going to see it fairly often. Um, unfortunately, this character is cheated in, and he does not absolutely... He actually does not have any, and I mean any, waypoints. Uh, he can't leave Act 1 normal. It's pretty hilarious. Um, the only re the only purpose this character serves is to show off equipment. And, uh, and that's pretty much uh, the end of him. Uh, I was hoping that perhaps I'd be able to get at least a one proc here. No such lock. Look at that. But as you can see, I have right now um, 1,715 defense. So let's keep that in mind uh, in the future if we can manage to get this to proc here. Uh, our, fortunately, our mercenary is absolutely just just murdering our chances of proccing this because she's just demolishing everything with literally no bow, <laughs> literally nothing. She's just got it rocked. All right, so here we go. Just a little bit of uh, perseverance, and, uh, and I was able to get the effect rock. So uh, 
let me uh, go ahead and move myself out of the way. Actually, no, I'm not out of the way. All right. So we uh, we saw it was only 1,600 defense before, and now, as you can see, with the defense proc from the uh, Fortitude, the chilling armor effect, we are looking at 3,687 now. So a pretty large bonus for the fact that I'm only wearing one piece of armor at all. Um, and you, when you throw in a helmet, some gloves, some boots, a really nice shield, uh, a belt, and, uh, and perhaps any other dexterity equipment you've got, your defense is going to go through the roof with this particular armor as, as well as your damages. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching these videos. And um, keep watching. Isn't that right, Mr. Nene? He's a, he's the strong silent type. <laughs>